The unfortunate reality of working in cybersecurity is that you do require a bit of prerequisite knowledge before you can embark on this journey. But there are a few needless gatekeepers that are preventing people from breaking into the field. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. So it goes without saying that cybersecurity is a very desirable pr profession right now. And for good reason. It's on the leading edge of technology and is becoming such an important role with the rise of cybercrime and warfare. And more areas of cybersecurity are starting to get some well-deserved attention, like SOC and forensics work, not just the ethical hackers, which is really great news. However, when it comes to applying for cybersecurity roles, especially at the entry level, we often find that the requirements for these positions are just way too high. And that's what we'll discuss today. An obvious disclaimer first though, is that it's always important to ask yourself if you're capable of performing the role you're applying for. Obviously, you should not apply for jobs that are way beyond your capability. However, a bit of a stre stretch for you to grow and feel challenged is fine. So it might be worth asking a bit more about the role in, if the description is vague. Now onto these gatekeepers. One, great foundations. This is the only gatekeeper that I actually agree with. It is critical to have a wide range and a significant depth of computing skills in all the key areas. That's not to say be proficient in all of them, but having great depth in at least one or two is essential. These skills can be gained through an IT degree, diploma, or through self-education. It's not really too important where you pick it up. As I've said many times before, the key foundations is what's important in every cybersecurity role. Not having them will be extremely detrimental to your ability to, f to perform the role. Number two, you must have X years experience. I've seen many entry level job descriptions asking for five years infosec experience, OSCP, CISSP and more, which is just ridiculous, but also a sign that the business or the recruiter doesn't really know what they want or know much about the industry. Earlier on in my career, I fell into, performance, into a performance testing role, which I really enjoyed and became really passionate about, but when I applied for a performance testing role at another company, the job description said a minimum of five years experience and I only had one. However, as this was a passion of mine, I pushed through, sat the technical assessment and the interview and was honest the whole way through and got the job with a competitive salary. X years experience is a very subjective and poor metric to gauge somebody's capability. When I worked at my grad job, it was often said that you get two years experience for every one you worked, which was true because we worked really hard and long hours. While opposingly, you can find people in cruisy government jobs who have got one year experience five times over. So my advice is to ignore this gatekeeper and push through anyway and sell your case. Show your passion and dedication as well as capability and ignore any anything else that stands in your way. The worst outcome is that they'll just say no. And the last gatekeeper is certificates. Now, I understand why some organizations require, to require certificates. This can be due to compliance and security clearance, especially in government organizations. However, as the government sets these requirements, other businesses can arbitrarily also adopt these requirements as their own HR filter. The common one I see most often is the OSCP. So what can you do about it if you don't have the desired certificates? Well, the best thing is to start working towards those certificates. Show your motivation for learning and growth in that field, or perhaps you may have equivalent certificates worth showing. Share your additional work in relation to the field and that you're contributing to the cybersecurity community. I managed to get my first penetration testing role off the back of my experience as a performance tester without any certificates. I worked extensively with HTTP and other networking protocols, in addition to web programming and C. Then it was just simply my curiosity of security with my existing depth of technical knowledge, which naturally had me fall into my first cybersecurity role. So wrapping up, 
The best thing you can do in getting past these gatekeepers is just talk to the recruiter or hiring manager on the phone. Be sure to ask good questions about what the job entails. Show your knowledge through the questions that you ask. An informal chat is such a great way to build rapport. The most important thing when it comes to hiring people is that they are motivated and hardworking and really passionate about what they do. Anything else will follow from there. But be sure you're ready for the challenge. Don't shoot yourself in the foot by applying too early. Take your time, build your capability, and when you're ready, go for it, regardless of what the gatekeepers say. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a like. Not only does it help me out, but it helps people like you find content like this. Leave a comment below and tell me what gate gatekeepers you've come across in the hiring process. And I'll catch you in the next one.